Hi, everyone, and welcome. Check out this scene. Tremendous buzz in the building here today. A lot of excitement around this college football matchup. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into this snake bit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the ACC, the Syracuse Orange. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Hermstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. So no return on this one. Ball just bounces into the end zone for a touchback. So Syracuse's offense comes on the field first today. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it just holds your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. Got the first down, now looking for more. The tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. First down and 10 now. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. First down, looking to throw the football. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Easy. To throw, it's McCord. He's running out of time here. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Well, the pass rush does a good job of chasing him out of the pocket. He's trying to buy some time looking downfield, but he better be careful being too patient. He gets hit as he throws his football, and it falls incomplete. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. It's a short completion to the big tight end. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. The offense stays on the field in this opening grab. They'll go for it in their own territory. Right down to the 46, good enough for a first down. Chris, I'll be honest, man. I thought on fourth down and one, they might be just trying to draw the defense off sides, but they caught me and probably the defense by surprise as well, especially on their own side of the field. Gutsy play call right there to keep this drive alive. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Rifles this football to the left, and it's intercepted as he threw it into heavy traffic that time. Brought down after a short return at the 20 to snuff out the scoring threat in the red zone. And just like that, this defense takes advantage of a bad decision by the quarterback, steps in front of it for the interception, and now they've got great field position here early in this game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. Caught over the middle, it's Adams. He'll earn the first down, but pay for it with a hard hit. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receiver. That's really where we are anymore with Alabama. You just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith. The list goes on and on. Boy, they've got some great-looking receivers on this squad. 
And the pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Second down after the incompletion. They'll run it to the right side. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. That's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. And he's got it again. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. So on their first drive of the game, they'll go for it in their own territory. And he's throwing for it on fourth down, bringing pressure. And it's incomplete under heavy pressure. A big fourth down stop. Here comes the Syracuse offense back on the field. Chris, what a great job here by this defense on this fourth down play. They knew exactly where to come up with that stop to get the turnover on downs, and they did. Fresh set of downs. Looking for some space. It's Allen. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Crosses the 30. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. And I love how they're using the receiver here in motion. With a weapon like this, you just get him the football. Simple throw for the quarterback. He's got all that speed built up. You get him the ball out there in space with a couple blockers, and you get big plays like this right here. The defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris down here inside the 10 yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yard. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Offense facing second and goal. Looking to score with a run to the right. And we're able to get him down. Good job by the offensive line to get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Third down and goal. Quarterback will just sneak it now. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Orangeman. They trust their offensive line. That time, the quarterback just sneaks it across. Yeah, there's no reason to actually make this more complex than it needs to be. Snap, quarterback gets behind those linemen, gets behind him, finds a little crease, and gets six. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. set to kick the ball off now. And it's caught from inside the 20. Brought down at the 29. That's where we'll start the drive. Should be the last play of the quarter coming up. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Gets the first and still running. Oh, what a move to break into the clear. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. 
Steps out of bounds, but not before a huge gain on the ground. That has been in large part reliance on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Motion by the back, defense better adjust. And the QB will try again on second and ten. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. The offense failed earlier in a fourth down attempt. They'll try it again here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And it's broken up nicely. A defensive stop and a turnover. Syracuse offense heads back out onto the field. I really thought that this was going to work out, showing an aggressive approach here, going for it on fourth down. Looked to be there. They just weren't able to complete it. And the offense starts in the shadow of their own end zone. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Don't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him. First down here for this offense. Takes the handoff. It's Allen. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Syracuse lines up quickly. Quarterback making some changes at the line. And the back now goes in motion. Looking to throw. It's McCord. Man, that defense is attacking the offensive line in their pass protection. Blew him up. Came down with a sack. Almost got the safety. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And the quarterback dropping back. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Check out this decision. They're going to go for it on fourth and very long. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. 
They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. Hey, they hit this for the first down, and I kind of like the approach. Be aggressive. Show your players that you believe in them, especially early in the game like this. Take a chance, and here it works out for them. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Past the 10. Touchdown, Syracuse. It was a foot race, and he won it. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. That makes the score for Syracuse. And here's the return from just inside the 25. And he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. The last possession, they passed on a field goal attempt, but got stopped on fourth down. Let's see how they play this one. Pulls it in. It's Miller. Breaking free at the 35. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Look out, he's got some space. Across midfield. Chris, not only the awareness to come up with the interception, but the speed and athletic ability on the return. I thought he was going to take it all the way back, but the offense just did enough to keep him out of the end zone. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Didn't quite get the playoff in time. It'll be delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Okay. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. Got it. First down here. Time for... Before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Looking for some space. It's Allen. Breaking free at the 35. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, Orangeman. Now the try here for the extra point. Attack on the PAT, and it's 21-0. Teams come on the field now to send this one away. From inside the 15 yard line, bringing it out. And he's brought down after a decent return out of the 31. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. This has been a rough first half. Bit of mission, but in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. So here we go. First play of the drive, under two minutes before halftime. Looking to throw it on first down. He'll take a deep shot here. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. A lot of times, college football, the game comes down to just a play or two, and that's a missed opportunity by this offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to come back to that same play in the second half. Close to the tight end. He's got it for a big game. 
Tackle made after a big game. That's the tight end flexed out into the slot looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that. They lost the receiver down there. He's got it for a big game. And he's finally forced out of bounds inside the 10. Big play to set up a first and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. First and goal, a good chance to chip away at the lead before halftime. Back to throw again. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend when the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. BAT is good, makes the score 21-7. Now they get set to kick it away. Kickoff fielded inside the 20. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. Here comes the Syracuse offense back on the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. And there's the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Well, the defense coordinator this week already telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Throws it to the right. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Back to throw. It's McCord. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends that are really recruited as big receivers, and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch, and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. Personal foul gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Syracuse getting set now with a first and ten. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. And he's going to run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Wanted no part of contact on that play. And now the offense will call a timeout. Some the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Important third down play coming up. Quarterback pre-snap adjustment snap for this defense. Grab near the sticks. It's Pena. Tackled at the five-yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. Syracuse lines up quickly. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. To throw, it's McCord. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Syracuse. This is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. Let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead.
So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer for the break. Return here from inside the 15-yard line. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they start the drive. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left, perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And the pass is intercepted as he throws into double coverage that time. And he just steps out of bounds, a takeaway to wrap up this first half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, a typical first-rate broadcast so far today from Syracuse. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far. And it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to watch this one unfold. Back to our guys in the booth. All right, Kevin, thank you. We appreciate the breakdown. Syracuse will kick it off to get the second half underway. Not a long kick, fielded inside the 25. And they bring him down to the 32 after a solid return. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. First play of the drive now. They'll start from the 32. Off the play fake on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. That completion makes it second and medium. The back's got it. And he's got it already past the first down marker. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. He's picked for a third time tonight. Can he take it all the way? At the 20, at the 10. Touchdown, Orangeman. And the defense adds six with the interception return. And a pick six, a monster play by this defense. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. We go to the point after attempt. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is out on the field. Turn starts inside the 15. And the return man brought down. That's decent yardage on that return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back and do a pick six in the last possession. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And here comes a deep shot. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. That is a really tough feeling for a receiver to be way downfield like that, ready for a big play, and just unable to connect with your quarterback. I'm sure they're going to go to the sideline looking to call another shot downfield again here in a little bit. It's a big gain across midfield all the way to the 39-yard line. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. 
Let's it fly out of the wideout. Another pick. Wow, that's the fourth tonight. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. So the Syracuse offense heads back out onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for a huge chunk of yards. Here they do a nice job of getting it to the outside, turning it upfield, and ended up getting a nice gain out of it. Now it's second down here. Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Handoff here from the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least pick up some positive yards. And the game just good enough for a first half. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are, working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down, you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it, you convert, and you keep working that clock. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play, bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Second down play coming up for this offense. Grab behind the line, it's Haynes. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. The shotgun handoff here. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. To the air, it's McCord. Receiver makes the grab. Tackle made at the 26, good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And the pass is incomplete on the final play of the third quarter. Final quarter coming up. And it's Syracuse on top right now. Hasn't been much of a contest so far, and the stats will reflect that. Incomplete. Second down coming up. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Makes the first down, but crazy Price big hit there at the end. This defense just cannot get off the field. The long march moves on. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Grab behind the line. It's Gadsden. Touchdown, Syracuse. And this one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. PAT is off the right upright and no good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's got it inside the 15. He'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Grab down the middle. It's Law. 
They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, they knew all week that they would have an opportunity to face a lot of man coverage and a lot of blitzing today. And one way that they felt they could counter that, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, and especially on the quick slants for big games. Oh, he doesn't hang on off the deflection there. He's going to bring up a third down play. We'll see if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Looking to pass, it's Milrow. Pressure is coming. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Chris, I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done such a great job of preparing a plan to get ready for the top quarterbacks in the country. They've kept them out of sync, applied pressure, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead right now. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. Here comes the Syracuse offense back on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking right down the field for a touchdown. They'll use that running game, trying to lead the clock here. Chris, this back has had a great day. They're winning the football game. I just looked at my stats. This guy's at 99 yards on the day. You can tell how badly he wants to cross the 100-yard threshold. He's been superb today. Second down here. Time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. On third down, it's a handoff. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Syracuse lines up quickly. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. And he's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. Let's it go quickly. And that is interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Well, that interception really about cost him the game here. And I understand. you got to do everything you can to get back in and down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Here's the second down play. Ball handed off. Finds room at the 30. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. Second down play coming up. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Picks up the first, looking for more. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Just pounding away for another big gain, Kirk. You wonder if this defense is beginning to lose its will a little bit. I, I think they are losing. Touchdown, Orangeman. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. This is just complete domination in every phase offense defense special teams fun to see for this team unfortunate on the other side here's the kickoff team now set to boot this one away not an ideal kickoff as it heads out of bounds free kick out of bounds kicking team kick travels out of bounds and the penalty moves the ball to the 40. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. 
Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day. For Yet another interception. The disastrous performance continues. Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. Hey guys up front, line up, it's first down. Shotgun formation, here's an inside handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Getting set, here's second down. Looking downfield, it's McCord. He's hit just before the throw. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Well, frankly, Kirk, we hope for games that are a little bit more suspenseful. This one got out of hand early, ended up being a rout. That's putting it nicely, Chris, right? This was a complete blowout. A solid performance in all areas by this team. Their coaches should be proud of how they looked out there today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.